I was really touched by what was special about Berkeley. The faculty rely on each other. They can't just go to a dean and expect to be given additional resources. And that passion of relying on each other in order to make things work actually produces great work. My name is Scott Schenker. I'm in the Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences Department here at the University of California at Berkeley. As for what I do, I do research in a wide variety of, of subjects in computer science, but mostly computer networking and internet architecture. I knew I was not smart and that if I was going to succeed in life, it would have to be based on not being the smartest person in the room, but that was a good thing to learn at a young age. I got to college and it was very clear that I was not good enough at math, I was told so. So I majored in physics and then eventually I got hired by the Xerox Palo Alto Research Center to do physics and there was a guy, Albert Greenberg, he was giving a talk on something having to do with the mathematical stability of Ethernet. There was something going on that related to the physics I had studied and I asked him whether anybody understood how the Ethernet overloaded. He said no and I started looking at issues like that and I just never looked back. I had met a, a young intern who was working with me at a nonprofit called uh, International Computer Science Institute. He was working with Vern Paxson, a colleague of mine, and I talked to him about an idea he had on a new networking technology called Software Defined Networking, SDN. SDN was important for two reasons. One is a, as a technical innovation, it let you do more things. As a marketplace innovation, it was taking intelligence out of the switches and putting it in software. We developed the technology, we went and we pitched it to Cisco and we presented the ideas to them. We were just giving the ideas away. We fought for about an hour and a half and at the end of an hour and a half we'd been screaming at each other and I finally got up and I said, look, you're not listening to us anymore. We're not listening to you anymore. I will bet my house that we're going to kick your ass. And that's when we started the company, Nasira Networks. And so my role was I served as CEO because we didn't want anybody with a business orientation around the company. And it turned out to be a huge success, both in terms of that this is now, SDN is what the industry is building, and financially. Uh, we had told people when they joined the company that we had two values. Step one is to change the world. Step two is to make money. And if those are ever in conflict, we will stick with changing the world. I love the feeling of the cities. It both has a combination of diversity and beauty and passion that I just feel more alive here. What I learned from my thesis advisor, Leo Kadanoff, was that it's as important, if not more important, to extract the simplicity. Rather than just master the complexity, but to extract the simplicity of what you were looking at. I borrow other people's visions wherever possible and rather than think my own but it's trying that trying to learn from the world around you as much as you can 